I don't normally recommend cleaning the optics on your telescope unless absolutely necessary, but after a couple of years of use, the optics on your telescope can get quite dirty. So if you need to clean them, here's how I do it. First thing we are going to do is take the telescope off the mount. With the telescope in the vertical position, you can start taking out these screws. And then you simply lift the tube off and put that away somewhere safe. Okay, so first thing, as you might notice, there are a couple of screws over here that we'll need to take off. Let's take out all of these screws one by one. Just be very careful that your screwdriver doesn't slip and touch the mirror. Okay, now that the screws are out, you can simply put your hand underneath the mirror and lift it out like this. So before I get started, I like to put everything together that I'm gonna need for the procedure. So first of all, I use this plastic container to keep the mirror in so it doesn't get scratched. I have some distilled water, 99% isopropyl alcohol. Uh, make sure it's not rubbing alcohol. You want 99% or higher isopropyl alcohol. Cotton balls, also from the pharmacy and some surgical gloves. Uh, these are just basic ones I picked up at the pharmacy. And this kind of a dust blower that you normally use for camera lenses is pretty helpful. Although you can use one of these USB powered ones uh, as well that I normally use for everything. And uh, you can find a link to this one in the description of this video. I'm gonna start off by just rinsing the mirror under lukewarm tap water to get as much of the gunk off as I can. You can also use the spray function for this. So after rinsing, you can put the mirror on a towel or some sort of soft surface. In my case, I'll just put it on the uh, dish towel that I normally use for dishes. And we'll start step two, which is to fill this uh, plastic tub up with a little bit of lukewarm water. You don't want the water to be too hot, just lukewarm is fine. Now that the container has some water in it, I'll put one drop of dishwasher detergent. And I always use Dawn, the regular blue one. And you can put a little bit of isopropyl alcohol in there. Uh, there is no exact science to this, so you don't have to worry about exactly how much and then just agitate the water a little bit. This is just to mix up the soap. Okay, and now let's take our mirror and submerge it. And you can leave it in there like that for a couple of minutes. I'd say maybe five minutes or so should be sufficient just to soften things up a little bit. So at this point, I'm going to put on my gloves. So now that we have the gloves on, we will give it one more rinse under the water. Already looking a lot cleaner. We'll use some of the cotton here. Let's just make a little pile on the side. We'll just grab each of these cotton balls, have the mirror at an angle, but still underneath. And starting from one side, just rub it. So it's a kind of an upward motion like this. And once you've used each of the cotton balls, just strain it and put it away. Grab the next one. And I'm gonna use the other side of it as well. And by doing this under the water solution that we made, it prevents uh, or it significantly decreases any chance of scratches. Okay, 
And then now we can take the mirror out and inspect it, see if there is any area that requires special attention. And then just run the water over it. And then put it aside. Okay, now we're done with this solution. Let's empty this out. This is empty and now it's ready for the next step. Now this is where the distilled water comes in. We're gonna take the mirror and just put it in here at an angle. So put it at an angle like that. And we'll just take the distilled water and just pour it over the mirror. You don't need a ton of it, just enough to remove any traces of the regular water. And then just let it, let it all drain off. Wow, that looks very, very clean. Look at that. Massive difference. Now you might notice a couple of droplets of water on there, that's fine. Uh, we'll get rid of that in the next step. You can use one of these little photography blowers. So just blow the water right off the surface. This is a very small one, I recommend a larger one. And my favorite method, one of these USB dust blowers. All done. Now that the mirror is clean, I'm gonna leave it on this towel to dry, and once it's dry, in maybe about an hour, we can put it back into the telescope. This is what the mirror looks like after cleaning. If you remember just how dirty the surface was before, uh, there was a layer of pollen and dust, and now, perfectly clean. Okay, our mirror is now clean, so we're gonna put it back. To do that, we'll do the same thing we did before. Put your hand in from the back, lift the mirror that way, gently lower it into place. Grab these little brackets, and just gently put them in one at a time. You don't wanna tighten them too much. So over here on this particular mirror cell, you'll see there's a, an empty notch. Uh, some telescopes might not have that, in which case you don't need to do this, but most Newtonians should. So keep track of where this notch is. And on the tube itself, you'll notice this folded piece that sticks out. So we need to get that folded piece directly here where this notch is. So we'll hold it like this and gently get it into place. The holes over here are lined up with the holes on the inside and uh, the mirror is in. Put the screws back in and we're not tightening anything right now. We're just putting the screws in a little bit. Okay, now that we've got a couple of screws in, we can stand the whole thing up. Okay, so all the screws are now in, but they're not tight yet. So I'll do one side at a time. So tighten this one a little bit. Go to the opposite side, tighten this one in a little bit, and then this one a little bit. So this way we'll know that the mirror is in the exact center and also the pressure is equally distributed all around the tube. Now, you might be wondering why I didn't clean the secondary mirror. The secondary mirror is facing downwards into the tube, so it rarely gets very dirty. So normally it's the primary mirror that does require cleaning, and that's very, very rarely. I usually clean my mirrors on each telescope maybe once every five years or so. Uh, so your mirror should not need a lot of cleaning, but when it does, this is, I think, the best way to do it. Mm -hmm. 